defenders. Charlie Shepard gets the ball. There's Hankies all over the field. The Hamilton Tiger Cats being called for offside as the Hamilton linemen jump the gun. The penalty will be half the distance to the goal line or the game where they want it. Jim Van Pelt, the Blue Bomber quarterback, talking it over, along with Steve Onischuk of Hamilton, number 81, and referee Harry Bowden. And Bowden is going to lay the football down halfway between the five-yard line and the goal line. There will be second down for the Blue Bombers. Second down, two and a half yards to the goal line. And a fine shot by the creepy TV camera. The handoff is to Charlie Shepard, and he sits and he goes over for the touchdown. Go to the front in the football game. Winnipeg 26, Hamilton 21, with four minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Jim Van Pelt will attempt the convert for Winnipeg. Kenny Plain is going to hold the football. The kick is good, and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers lead 27 to 21. This Grey Cup telecast is coming to you from Empire Stadium in the ball 24 yards in five plays. Go to the front in the third quarter here at Empire Stadium. And now Jim Van Pelt will attempt the kickoff once again. Ronnie Howell on the left, Eddie Macon on the right to receive the kickoff deep for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Van Pelt not satisfied with the way that football is standing. The kickoff goes out of Macon on the 21-yard line. He is across the 35 and up to about the 38. Walt Bullicky coming in to make the tackle again. They paid attendance here at Empire Stadium in Vancouver, 34,226, far short of 1955 when more than 39,000 people came to watch the first football game, the first Grey Cup game, to be played in Western Canada. First and 10, Hamilton on their own 38-yard line. The handoff taken by... Jerry McDougall, and McDougall is up to the 45-yard line, crosses the 45, hit by Frank Rigney. It's a seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three for Hamilton. The handoff taken once again by Jerry McDougall. Gar Warren coming up from his interior linebacking spot to make the tackle. Warren number 44. It's third down for the Tiger Cats, and there'll be a measurement. At least it's second down over, and there'll be a measurement. First down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats with three minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Winnipeg 27, Hamilton 21. One of the all-time great Grey Cup football classics. Hamilton on their own 48-yard line and the three-minute three whistle sounds. Ronnie Howell flanking wide to the right. Milt Campbell in at fullback and gets the pitch out. Campbell goes across the 50 up to the midfield stripe and it, Campbell is finally pulled down 
On the Winnipeg side of the field, Steve Patrick making the first tackles. Patrick number 63, Roger Savoy in there also number 62. Campbell and Steve Patrick as tackler playing leapfrog. Very close to a first down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. It's a nine yard gain, second and one. Kenny Plain in a defensive halfback for Winnipeg now. Maloney tells Howell to get way over by the sidelines. The handoff is to him and to Campbell, and Campbell across the 50 down to the 49-yard line. It'll be a first down for the Tiger Cats. Dave Burkholder making the tackle, the initial tackle. And it's first down, Hamilton just over the Winnipeg, inside the Winnipeg 50. Less than two minutes remain in the third quarter. Winnipeg 27, Hamilton 21. Maloney's pass to Decker, and Decker makes the grab on the 40-yard line. He's down to the 35, down to the 34-yard line. Pulled over by Gordy Rowland, Winnipeg's right corner linebacker, and it's another first down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. These teams going up and down the field reminiscent of the days when the Montreal Alouettes and the Edmonton Eskimos were battling each other here in Empire Stadium back in 1955. Less than a minute and a half remains in the third quarter. Baloney fakes the handoff. The long pass is intended for Ronnie Howell in the end zone, and Howell makes the catch for the touchdown. Ronnie Howell makes the catch over Kenny Plain. As the Hamilton Tiger Cats go 72 yards in six plays, and these teams not wasting any time picking up the point. Hamilton 27, Winnipeg 27. We're in the third quarter with a minute and 12 seconds remaining. Steve Onischuk will attempt the convert for Hamilton. Bernie Filoni, who is four for five in the second half with two touchdown passes to his credit. He holds the football, which is a kicked for a point and the Hamilton Tiger Cats go to the front again this time 28 to 27 the Hamilton Tiger Cats will kick off to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and Chet Mixa in there to do the kicking taking over from Don Southern Mixa's kick is a high short one Goes down to Kenny Plain on the 22-yard line. Plain across the 25, up to the 30. He's free on the 35, and he is finally pulled down by Tony Cursillo on the 41-yard line. The officials spot the ball on the 42. 43-yard kickoff by Chet Mixick, a 20-yard return by Kenny Plain. It'll be first down Winnipeg on their own 42-yard line. They now trail by one point. Less than a minute to play here in the third quarter. Leo Lewis gets the ball. His long pass is to Ernie Pitts, and it's over Pitts' head. Ernie Pitts in there behind the Hamilton defenders, Steve Otischuk and Bobby Dawson, and Leo Lewis overthrew him. The minute flag up here in the third quarter. It'll be second and 10 for the Blue Bombers from their own 42-yard line. Kenny Plain flanking to the right. And Van Pelt looks for his receivers, decides to run the ball. He's out across the midfield spot, and he's finally run into touch. The officials mark it on the 53-yard line. Steve Onestuck in there to knock Jim Van Pelt into touch. First down for the Blue Bombers. 
Just a few seconds remaining in the third quarter. Hamilton 28, Winnipeg 27. 